Hey, what's going on? Barnaby here along with Gary in this edition of Barnaby at Home. You know, this is a rental property that we're working on, so it's a duplex. Folks upstairs have had problems because it's an older home, right? Sure. And so the circuits are all kind of piggybacked on one another, maybe uh, three things running off of one circuit. could be a toaster, a microwave, and an air conditioner. What would happen if all three devices were on at the same You're time? You're going to blow the breaker. And then we get calls like that all the time. So we've mapped out the circuits up there. We've split them all up and put the correct loads on each line. But now we're working downstairs, and the tenants are moving in in two fat days. Oh, right? boy, we got to get going. <laughs> Right now, what we got to find out, Barnaby, the microwave should be by itself, but let's say it's sharing with something. Yeah. So let's find out how much amperage this microwave is drawing. Okay. So let's check it out. We've got the tool right here. It is the CL330. It's a clamp meter, right? That's a brand new meter. Okay. And uh, it's multifunction and really uh, kind of intuitive. A lot of people fear buttons and screens, but I mean, this is almost a no brainer, right? Yeah. This is pretty much an automatic meter. Mm -hmm. um, when you turn it on, it comes up, it's got a nice lit screen, it's easy to read, and it gets everything for you right away. For, for our purposes right now, we're gonna check the ampacity of this. You can put leads in here to check the voltage, you can mm -hmm. put leads in here to check the temperature if you want. Right, and okay. this one right here, what we're gonna be doing is we're just gonna plug this into the outlet that the microwave's gonna go into, plug the microwave in here, attach the clamp meter once this is on, mm -hmm. and find out what the read is, right? Right, and this is Klein's split line splitter. Okay. So you're able to do that with a corded product. Okay, let's get to it. So open up cabinets. Okay, we see that it's plugged in right here. I'll take this line splitter, plug the microwave back in. So on all the settings that I have here right here, I'm going to set this to 400 amp, right? Sure. 400 amp. All right, here comes the moment of truth, the hot tip that you should probably tell all of your friends. What I've got going on right here in the microwave is, you would think it would just be empty, right? but we've got a cup of water. Why is that, Gary? You do not want to run the microwave without anything in it. You ever, will, ever, ever? Ever. You can damage your microwave by doing that. Okay, let the manufacturer show. There you go, in case the thing does blow up, that there was a cup of water in it, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, I'm gonna program it to a hot minute. There you go. Plant meter set 400, all systems go. And away we go. What kind okay. of so amperage? 15.2, uh, 15 15.3. All right. Yep. So, that, so you're good. You don't want to have anything else on this, especially if you have it on a 20 amp breaker. Okay. Good to know, right? Yeah, absolutely. All right. So, you know, things are a mystery until you have the proper sleuthing. And in this case, it was because of this CL330 that we now know what the amperage is on this circuit, correct? That is correct. All righty. So, can I come back to the uh, ground level here, sir? Absolutely. All right. Well, thanks for doing that because you know what? You bet you. I hate those calls at four o'clock in the morning going, we're having a toast party and <laughs> blew the place up because of too many things on one circuit. Now we know, right? You got it. All so right. you're good to go. Thank you, Clyde. You bet you.